France is building its first new aircraft carrier in decades, the PANG, or Port Avion Nouvelle Génération, designed to replace the aging Charles de Gaulle. Set to be one of the largest carriers globally, the PANG will boast an impressive air wing and advanced defenses. However, given France's current economic challenges and strategic needs, investing in such a colossal project seems misguided. France's real threats lie in Russia and the greater Middle East, where cheaper, unmanned underwater vehicles, submarines, and advanced technologies like hypersonic weapons and military space capabilities would be more effective. The Pang may symbolize power, but it doesn't address France's strategic priorities. France is the most recent medium-sized power to pursue building a massive nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. Under the acronym of PANG, which means Port Avion Nouvelle Génération, France is building its first new indigenous aircraft carrier in decades. It is designed to replace the aging French carrier Charles de Gaulle. The French Navy intends to create one of the largest warships ever built by France. The French Navy is actively planning for a future aircraft carrier and new flagship. The ship will be nuclear-powered and will feature the electromagnetic aircraft launch system and advanced arresting gear. The current French aircraft carrier, the nuclear-powered Charles de Gaulle, entered service in 2001. As the only aircraft carrier of the French Navy, the ship's maintenance periods leave France without an available aircraft carrier. As a result, the PA-2 project started in 2003 to study the feasibility of another carrier based on the design of the British Queen Elizabeth class. The PA-2 or Port Avion project was suspended in 2009 and ultimately cancelled in 2013. In 2018, French Minister of the Armed Forces Florence Parley announced the start of a second carrier program, this time as a replacement for Charles de Gaulle. The military planning legislation for 2019-2025 defined an 18-month study phase to allow the president to decide on the main characteristics of the program by 2020. In May 2020, during a visit to Chantier de l'Atlantique, Parley stated that the new carrier would be built in Saint-Nazaire, since it is the only dry dock in France capable of harboring ships of this size. Architecture, propulsion options, and number of ships were originally to be decided by President Macron in July 2020 to allow him to make the announcement at Bastille Day. However, on the 6th of July 2020, a governmental reshuffle put the Castex government in charge, forcing to delay the Defense Council to later in the year. During a visit to the Framatome site at Le Creusot on the 8th of December 2020, President Macron officially announced the start of the PANG program and selection of nuclear propulsion for the ship. In 2022, Naval Group released new renderings of the carrier, including a revised island structure. In May 2020, Defense Minister Florence Parley stated that the PANG would be built in Saint-Nazaire at Chantier de l'Atlantique. Preliminary design work on new 220 milliwatt K-22 nuclear reactors to power the ship was completed in 2023. A production contract for the ship is anticipated in about 2025, with hull construction to begin in about 2031. Sea trials are projected to begin in around 2035. With a length of 310 meters and a width of 85 meters at its widest point, the Pang will be one of the largest aircraft carriers in the world. She'll displace approximately 75,000 tons, which is far larger than the Charles de Gaulle, which displaces 42,000 tons. Never mind that the French, with their current economic woes and domestic political instability, are unlikely to actually build this monstrosity. Egos must be stroked, and the French must remind everyone that many centuries ago, they were a dominant imperial power. The French Navy plans on building only one Pang aircraft carrier, 
which will also serve as the flagship of the French fleet. It will undoubtedly be interoperable with the wider NATO naval capability. Peng's air wing will be substantial, with the carrier expected to carry up to 30 new generation maritime variants of France's new generation fighter aircraft and remote carrier vehicles, all of which are part of the Future Combat System, or FCAS. Europe's FCAS is the most promising of the sixth generation warplane systems being developed by the world's great powers, if only because of the many countries' burden sharing to build this system. Besides these new systems, the Pang will host an undisclosed number of Dassault Rafale M multi role fighter aircraft. E2D Hawkeye airborne early warning and control aircraft, various helicopters, and other unmanned aerial vehicles. The new carrier will have a crew of around 2,000 personnel, including aircraft engineers, to undertake repairs on board that would normally be done by the manufacturer. The new carrier is expected to be delivered to the French Navy in 2037, and will be made operational by the French Navy a year later. At this point, the ancient Charles de Gaulle will be retired from service. According to specifications, the Pang will be equipped with advanced defenses, including the Seafire radar system and various satellite communication systems. The carrier will also have a catapult-assisted takeoff, but a rested recovery system, which will allow the onboard aircraft to launch from the deck using electromagnetic catapults and to land using arresting wires. As for her weapons, the Pang will be armed with various advanced missiles, including the Aster-15 and Aster-30 surface-to-air missiles, the Exocet MM-40 Block III anti-ship missile, and the Scalp naval cruise missile. The carrier will have a range of other defensive systems, including the Silver A-50 Vertical Launch System. The Pang represents a significant leap forward for the French Navy. If constructed according to her designs and the preferred timeline, the Pang carrier will provide a powerful and versatile platform for projecting sea-based air power across the globe. Of course, to what end is a question that few in Paris dare to ask. Even more so than Britain, France is a European power. Its problem set and the threats it currently faces derive from Russia to the east and the greater Middle East to the south. Sure, an aircraft carrier can help deal with terrorism issues in the greater Middle East, but what can it do against Russia? More importantly, as evidenced by the French experience fighting in Mali, no amount of firepower would assist the French in winning back North Africa. It goes deeper than mere firepower. Their problems in that part of the world are cultural, historical, and ideological. As a medium power, France should instead be focused on building their fleet of cheaper, unmanned underwater vehicles, as well as submarines and possibly destroyers. And if Paris really wanted to get ahead of the rest of the advanced militaries of the world, they'd focus on military space issues, as well as developing hypersonic weapons capabilities. An aircraft carrier, like the proposed Pang, may make them feel like a great power again, but it won't actually make France a great power again.